Yo, so as always on Fridays and I'm gonna be the show there is new content today We're gonna be making a video covering it if you're watching this video right now Be sure to leave a like subscribe on the road to 100,000 subscribers comment down below your thoughts on new players moments Flash sale coming later today as well Everything like that links in the description twitch Instagram Twitter So we're gonna try to fly through this I usually talk pretty fast in these videos just because I don't want to make it way too long But we have a new headliner 93 overall damn please act Four seam slider and a two seam at 92 V low, 99 break, 91 control, 96 hits per nine, 113 K per nine, closing pitcher lefty. If I can get this card, he will probably go in my bullpen. So I don't know if we'll rip the packs. I probably won't because I hate spending 7,500 stubs to pull all silvers and bronzes and commons, but that is a good looking card. Maybe if there's a headliner bundle in the flash sale and he goes down, maybe I'll try to pick him up. Another new thing that we have is going to be Tops Now Moments. Let's go ahead and check the moments, just kind of see what's going on. So we go to Tops Now, May 10th through the 16th. Hit one homer as Gavin Lux, recreate that grand slam. Tally two hits and one homer as Josh Fuentes. Strike out six batters as Corey Kluber. And you guys can see the difficulty right over there too. But that's to recreate as no-hitter. And then hit one homer as Bobby Dalbeck. One plate appearance for that. Eight total bases in a game with Eduardo Escobar. And then the final one is Jacob Stallings. Win one game. Playing with the Pirates starting in the seventh inning. Come back and win the game. So it looks like that's like a three-inning game moment right there. And I'm going to do my best to actually only show the new Tops Now cards. Uh, I'm really not good at this for some reason. I always seem to show, I think, Robel Garcia. But we have Eduardo Escobar here. He is one of the new cards. Third base primary. Also plays first, second, short, left, and right. Is a switch hitter with good contact versus both sides. 79-75, 173 for the power, 77 vision. And really not bad defense, especially if you parallel him and get that fielding up a little bit. He plays a lot of positions. Definitely a good budget beast. You know, technically a free diamond. We got Jacob Stallings, catcher. No other positions. 80 and 78 for the contact. 59 and 82 for the power. 94 fielding. 99 reactions. So he's going to be a really good defensive catcher. And then one speed. Uh, we also have Bobby, Bobby Dalbeck right here. 59 and 82 for the contact, first and third base for his positions, 93 and 108 for the power with 48 vision and then 70 fielding. Pretty decent arm and good reaction. That arm's not accurate, but it's it's fairly strong. We also have Corey Kluber. I'm really interested to see how this card plays in Diamond Dynasty. Sinker cutter, slurve, four seam, and a change. 75 low, 99 break, 86 control, 77 hits per nine. So Obviously not nearly as good as the 99 Corey Kluber from last year, but still for a free card pretty much. That's just going to be kind of insane. And we're getting a lot of tops now cards. This, this is really filling up fast. We got Gavin Lux, second and shortstop, born in Wisconsin, shout out Wisconsin. Uh, 82 and 56 for the contact, 90 and 63 for the power. Some decent feeling, you know, it's a gold. Then we also have Josh Fuentes, third base, also as a first base secondary. 85, 89 for the contact, 62 and 83 for the power with 55 vision. Pretty good fielding, 85 with 89 reaction over there at third base. Not too shabby, and I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I've been showing Robel Garcia every week. I'm pretty sure that that is it for the new Tops Now cards. I got to check my list to see what we have today. So new uh, Tops Now headliner, new Conquest map apparently. We can go ahead and check that out real quick. Obviously, I don't know where the uh, the hidden rewards are. I'm pretty sure UFO. So, Martian was the first one. Now we have UFO right here. One, two, three, four, five, six strongholds to take out. And the goals, we have a show pack, UFO icon, and then another show pack right here. Wait, will I never be able to get that icon again? Because the, these maps expire. Do I have to do this map to get that icon? Oh, man. I hope I didn't miss anything in the first inning. Wow, that actually kind of scares me a little bit. That I might have missed something. We also have a new player program. As y'all can see, it is Bruce Suter right here, 88 overall. We can go ahead and take a look. For the moments, you get 42 points from these. If you do all the moments and then you can just defeat the Cubs on All-Star, you get the card. It's pretty easy. I'd say a free diamond. You also get for collecting him 35,000 XP towards the second inning program. Splitter, four seam, and a slider. Closing pitcher. It's really nice to have more guys going into the bullpen. 99 for his hits per nine, 99 breaks, 77 control, and then only 60 velocity. But that splitter and slider combo... Might be kind of nasty with that 99 hits per nine and the break. So, looks like a pretty good card. Again, kind of like the tops now. It's a free card, so I feel like they can't juice them too much since it's pretty easy to get. But, hey, it's an easy card to get.
Plus, you're also able to get 35,000 XP towards that program. And then I think the final new thing we have today, again, I'll check my list, is a new event. And it is Gold Glovers. First one was Silver Sluggers, I think. This is Gold Glovers. You can only use Gold Players or Common Players. Max team overall of 84. Three inning games. All-star difficulty. And the rewards are going to be the same. We got Estruba Cabrera and Nick Marcakis. And I don't think, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think these two things are new on the end. Uh, which is kind of weird to me that they don't add new rewards on if they make a new event. Even if the first set of rewards are the same. It's always a little bit strange to me. So I think that's all the new content. But we also have a flash sale coming that I want to talk about. So we got Tops now. New headliner, new conquest, player program, new event, roster update coming next Friday. Uh, the second season for Team Affinity is coming next Friday. Two weeks from today, we have the third inning program. So next couple weeks, we got a lot of stuff going on. And today, starting in about, oh God, an hour from when I'm recording this, but maybe really soon for you guys, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific is a flash sale so every hour they have a flash sale four times 1 p.m 2 p.m 3 p.m and 4 p.m pacific and that pack will only be available you know you go to the pack store buy packs and then there will be a pack available for one hour and then they'll bring a new one and then they do that four times and what people are thinking i don't know for sure no one knows for sure but what people are thinking is we're going to get one of the space packs a headliner bundle a guaranteed live series diamond and maybe another space pack. So I expect the prices of the headliners to go down. I expect the prices of live series diamonds, especially 89 and lower, to go down. And I expect the prices of the space pack cards to go down as well. So again, that is happening. The first pack goes live at 1 p.m. Pacific, which I believe is going to be 4 p.m. Eastern. You know, 3 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Mountain. Those are the only time zones that I know. First pack. 1 p.m. Hour later, we get a second pack. Hour later, we get a third pack. Hour later, we get a fourth pack. And then they are gone. You can't buy the packs anymore. So what I'm probably going to do is buy them and then open them in a few days. Hope the prices go back up at least a little bit. But that's all the new stuff we have today. As always, I like to check the calendar just to see if it's updated. Maybe they give us some new information. So let's go ahead and check. It doesn't look like it is. Um, look, it looks like we have the same calendar from before. I would not be surprised if in the next day or two, maybe even a few hours, I got updated. But we have Team Affinity Season 2 dropping next Friday, as well as another roster update dropping next Friday. And something that got confirmed is that for Team Affinity Season 2, you do not need to finish Season 1, and Season 1's not going anywhere. So you will still be able to get Season 1 done, and you do not need to have Season 1 done to access Season 2. They are separate, and Season 1 is not going anywhere. So I think that is all the information that I wanted to cover for you guys today. I'm really hoping I didn't talk way too fast. I'm hoping I didn't forget anything. I'm hoping everything was as clear as possible. As y'all can see, I have some stubs. I'm going to buy the flash sale packs to open in a few days. Hoping the prices go back up a little bit, get a little pack opening for you guys. And I'm hopefully going to invest a little bit, you know? Hopefully get some of, if not all, the collections done. I need Garrett Cole. I need all the NL Live Series diamonds besides Acuna, uh, pretty much. So we're going to try our best to get some of those. I'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, social media, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.